They sent me a little package, a little birthday present. I normally get- Whoa, I just dropped the microphone. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Camille, welcome back to another video on the channel. So today's video, what we're going to be doing is reviewing the K678 microphone by Fine Fine. So it has been my birthday on 22nd of June, I just want to say a big thank you for an amazing birthday wishes. Also, I've started working on a new project, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on a little bit of a film, so I've been a little bit busy recently. Um, yeah, secret, secret stuff, I shouldn't be showing you this, but I'm working on a brand new film, so I've been busy all over the place, working full time, working on a film, trying to keep up a YouTube channel, it's been absolutely crazy. But Fine Fine sent me a uh, little present for my birthday, at the uh, K678 microphone, I'm not sure if my camera decides to focus, if it does, that would be absolutely amazing, and um, this is a little sort of like a podcast gaming microphone, it's very, very portable, because I may have dropped it on the first take of this video um so uh, we may have we may have broken the box slightly which which yeah just just the corner bit we we've dropped the box but i hope the microphone's fine so let's do a little bit of an unboxing let's not drop the microphone this time so when we open it up it comes up with a little bit of a foamy thing which we don't really need and then inside we have a couple of leaflets which this is sort of like the instruction booklet information booklet it has all your information about what's inside of the microphone which is great and then in the box we have a three different things let me just show you let the camera focus in on the insides of the box i'm not sure if you guys can see that but in here we have the uh, the cable that connects the microphone we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up so we've got the cable when we take out the cable if the cable decides to come out because it's very very snugly in here so we've got the cable which is awesome i'm probably going to be using that whenever i'm traveling when covid is not a thing anymore so we can get rid of the cable and the next thing is uh, a um a little thingy thing which screws at the bottom of your microphone so you can attach it to a boom arm which is pretty awesome and the last and final thing is your microphone the microphone comes in two well in one piece but you can separate into two pieces so let me just take it out of the box like so it's really really snug in there nothing else in the box we can get rid of the box now there we go like so and we have the microphone we undo it like so and there we go microphone is it's, it's a thing. You can also listen to yourself which is absolutely amazing so at the bottom it's got two ports one for the power and it also has a port for the headphones. Headphones, you can listen and monitor your audio. It's got a cardioid pickup pattern. So when you're at the front of the microphone, which is this side facing you guys, um, this is where the audio is being picked up. All around it, it's being canceled. You've got a little mute button if you want to. And um, yeah, it's a pretty cool snug mic. And if you do want to have it in a big setup or whatnot, you just unscrew the side bits, put in the little screw thing in the bottom, and then set it up on the boom arm if you got one. So it's been some time, I've been playing around with the microphone, setting it up for this shot, and I've got it set up on a little bit of a boom arm. There's actually a C stand. I've used a little attachment that came to the microphone, which works on my C stand thread, but this little attachment is actually meant for a proper boom arm. A boom arm that I have in the background right over here with one of my microphones. But, um, yeah, as you can hear, the microphone doesn't sound too bad. It sounds actually really, really decent. For a microphone that um, is in the budget price range and also is uh, meant for just travels, you know, one of those um, compact microphones you can grab with you, set it up, set it, plug it in and record it, whatever audio you want. It sounds absolutely amazing. It's got a cardboard pickup pattern, so it's picking up from the front, but it's trying to eliminate any background noise from around the sides and the back. It's got a mute button on the front, so I'm going to press the mute button and see if it works. See, just, just to show you, you can mute your uh, audio. So I'm going to keep on speaking and I'm going to click the button. So now it's gone green. So when you click the button, it goes red. When it's red, that means it's muted. When it's green, that means it's um, on. Uh, on the other side, which I really don't like, that's like a con for me personally. And I did say like, this is not a paid advertisement or anything. I am gonna talk about the cons of this microphone, which is the dials at the back. I cannot see them. I did set them up. Um, the bottom one is for the headphone jack. So you can actually monitor your audio. So I'll be able to hear myself when I speak um, after I entangle my headphones. 
coins because they're really, really tangled up for some reason, even though I just untangled them a minute ago. So we got the um, headphones. This is a 3.5 millimeter jack. I got a TRS connector, but it really doesn't matter which connector you have. And you just plug into your headphones and the headphone jack is just at the bottom over here. You just plug it all in. And when you've plugged it in, um, you can listen to yourself and I can actually hear myself which is great when you're trying to monitor audio especially when you're out and about and you're trying to record a piece of um, content audio content for let's say your video or anything you can hear what you're recording so just in case there's some background noise or anything you don't normally realize that there is you can just monitor your audio and be like hey okay i can hear that let me redo this line quickly and you will have perfect audio this is one thing i've never really seen on their microphone monitoring the audio which is something brand new in my opinion when it comes to fine fine in general and my experience with their microphones um and um yeah so monitoring audio is absolutely absolutely amazing you can actually turn the um the audio monitoring volume up and down over here just in case you can hear like all the other details um any creaks and whatnot um change the frequencies and whatnot i keep it quite low just because i don't like to overpower me myself hearing myself while i speak it just gets a little bit annoying a little bit distracting and also the top dial is to adjust your audio gain but i'm not going to do that because i've got this microphone set up perfectly for the setup I have right now. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. If you really love them, then make sure to subscribe. Hearing myself is very, very strange. I haven't done that on microphones for a very, very long time because the only microphones I ever done them was in studios where you have the big headphones and you're in a studio which is fully soundproofed and whatnot and you get to do whatever voiceovers you need to do. But anyways, Sammy Blaming, I'm gonna end this video here. Um, if you guys want to check out this microphone, I'll leave some links in the description below. But Anyways, thank you so so much for watching. Take care, everybody, and bye bye. I wanna cause no problems. I just wanna live my life, but I keep on hearing about nonsense. Me and my dons ain't mobsters, but you know when you see imposters. We know how to read them faces, same way you know how to read them comments. If you wanna talk, let's talk. But right here, make sure you walk and your talk is constant.